Welcome, everyone. Wow, what a journey it's been during this Copilot Control System digital deep dive. I hope that everyone ha has come to this point having gained valuable insights and practical value on how you can drive and define your organization's AI adoption, enablement, uh, and implementation in the era of AI. Welcome back for this final closing session. As a reminder, I'm F.A. Bugo. I've been your host. Uh, I'm a senior product marketing manager at Microsoft on the Copilot Control System team, and it's my privilege to close out this digital deep dive. Over the past few days, we've explored the full spectrum of what it takes to deploy, govern, and scale Copilot and agents across the enterprise, from securing data and managing agent sprawl to enabling makers, measuring impact, and ultimately, empowering everyday users. But this is not the end. It's the beginning of what's next in your journey. This session, it's gonna be brief, but it's gonna help you take everything you've learned, turn it into action, whether you're just starting your journey or whether you're scaling. We're gonna recap the key takeaways and highlight how you can keep the conversation going. So <clears throat> one thing we talked about is you know, as co-pilot and agent capabilities enhance and customer needs evolve, we know, and we've heard from you all, the message is clear. Customers want and they need controls as they navigate complex elements like security, governance, compliance, and privacy. Managed and sustained AI adoption across these organizations is required, and these elements are what will make it happen. As we see on the screen here, according to our research, 71% of customers cite security and governance concerns among their biggest challenges. 70% are worried about uncontrolled cost and agent sprawl. And 14%, only 14%, believe they have the right governance structures in place to manage agents. And at Microsoft, we get it, we hear you. We recognize this need, and it's our goal to empower <clears throat> all IT professionals to lead the AI transformation at scale with the confidence and control that they need. Fundamentally, customers trust Microsoft 365 with their sensitive data because of the foundation of trust we've built through these commitments to protect our customers and offer them the controls that they need in their day to day. These same commitments that we've made with Microsoft 365 apply to our everyday interactions, our prompts and responses in Microsoft 365 Copilot and Copilot Chat. So what does this mean practically? First, we secure your data at rest and in transit. We help protect your data with encryption and we provide rigorous physical security controls and data isolation between tenants. Secondly, you control your data. Our time-tested approach to privacy is grounded in our commitment to give you control over the data that you put in the cloud. In other words, again, you control your data and Microsoft guarantees this with the contractual commitments that we've made to you. Thirdly, in this AI era, data is key, but the data that you input and use is not used to train or enrich the foundational models we use. Whether it's prompts, responses, or web queries in Copilot, they are not used to train our models. And lastly of these commitments is you're protected against AI security and copyright risks. We help safeguard against AI focused risks like harmful content, prompt injections, and other types of risk vectors. And for copyright concerns from our customers, we provide protected material direction and our customer copyright commitment. Examples of these commitments include going further elements in regulations like GDPR, ISO 27018, HIPAA compliance, and the first ever internationally known ISO 42001, which provides an artificial intelligence management system framework for governance.
We also operate a number of controls to help our customers. For example, when it comes to security, as mentioned, we provide that encryption, rigorous physical security, and data isolation between tenants. So what does this mean when we bring all of these different tools and capabilities, controls and reports together? We call it the co-pilot control system as we've gone through, through this two day learning journey or CCS for short. So what is CCS? It is a system of integrated controls and capabilities for both co-pilot and agents. And it's designed to help IT admins and security pros effectively secure, manage, and analyze the use of Microsoft 365 Copilot, Copilot Chat, Microsoft Copilot Studio, and agents across your organizations. So there are three core pillars that we've discussed, and I'm just gonna go through them briefly to reground us and remind us um, as we close out this event. First, there's security and governance. Your data is secure within the Microsoft Security Trust Boundary, ensuring compliance and protection at every level. Second, core to CCS are management controls. Technology empowers people to create what they need to do at work, to accelerate workflows, to streamline uh, their daily tasks, and to drive those productivity gains. And through tools and platforms like the M365 Admin Center or the Power Platform Admin Center, for example, we've built controls to help you and your organizations manage AI sprawl within your, within your company and ensure the right people have access to the right tools, the right data, and the right capability as you, as an admin, as an IT team intended for them to use. And third, measurement and reporting. What gets measured gets managed, as Mike Walsh said during the co-pilot measurement session. And to continue to drive this innovation and continue to push forward in the era of AI, we need to be able to quantify, measure, and report on the impact that this transform transformative technology is bringing to bear. So as a part of CCS, we're helping you understand and track usage adopt and adoption, and also decipher the business impact of Copilot and agents within your tenant through Copilot analytics um, and other capabilities. It's been a packed agenda two days of intense learning where we dive deep, if you will. I encourage you all, as you look through the different sessions on the screen, um, to think about you know, where are areas that I might want to revisit, potentially share with my team or leadership, or just bookmark as I reference, as I would like to reference it, as I continue my AI adoption and implementation journey. This content will be available on Microsoft Tech Community. So you're gonna be able to go back, watch the recordings, download the actual presentation decks, and be able to use these artifacts uh, to equip you to guide and lead and thrive in this AI era. So what are some of the takeaways from this digital deep dive for CCS? The first is, Security is foundational, not optional. From AI compliance to data access controls and zone-based governance, the Copilot control system ensures that every agent and AI experience is built on a secure, compliant, and privacy-respecting foundation. Secondly, Copilot and agents are for everyone. Whether you're an end user building a retrieval agent, an agent builder, or a pro dev deploying mission critical agents in Azure, the CCS framework supports a full spectrum of creators securely and at scale. Thirdly, governance and innovation can coexist. And quite frankly, they must coexist. With tools, as mentioned, like Agent Inventory, Power Platform Admin Center, the M365 Admin Center, 
and an array of policy-based controls. IT can empower makers and can empower information workers to harness the power of AI while maintaining oversight. And what does this do? It enables innovation without compromise. Fourthly, going back to that point on measurement, measurement turns momentum into impact. We've talked about a few products, Copilot Analytics, Viva Insights, and the Copilot Dashboard, which give IT and business leaders the ability to track adoption, quantify productivity gains, and tie AI usage directly to business outcomes. And lastly, it's all about us, the people. Whether it's champions, communities of practice, driving scenario-based training, and enabling AI adoption across different teams, functions, individuals, and organizations. This is how we form habits, how we drive trust, and how we can help to ensure sustained long-term adoption and transformation of AI. It's as much about the people involved as it is the technology that is making all of this transformation possible. So lastly, the journey continues. Uh, at Microsoft, we talk about having a learn it all culture. And in this AI era, continuous learning is critical for us to all keep pace and for us to drive and thrive uh, in this environment that we're in. So to keep the momentum going, firstly, we have <coughs> the digital deep dive page on Microsoft Tech Community. If you wanna revisit the sessions, share insights, or just explore the resources we have on there, this page is gonna be your first destination. As mentioned, the decks will be available on, on Tech Community under the event listings for you to be able to download and pocket away for your journey. Secondly, join the conversation on the Microsoft 365 Copilot discussion board. This is where practitioners, admins, and champions come together to ask questions, share learnings, and crowdsource solutions. So if you have a question to ask or a story to share, this is the place to do it. Third, are what's new in Microsoft 365 Copilot blog. Copilot's evolving fast. You can check in here for monthly updates and stay up to date on the latest features, roadmap updates, and product announcements. So you can join us on our journey as we work to deliver you the best in class capabilities with Copilot. And our last two here is all about learning. Explore the M365 Copilot Adoption Hub. Whether you're building a champion program, launching a pilot, or scaling across the enterprise, there is a vast array of resources within the hub, uh, different templates and guides and training that you can use to lead and drive real impact. <clears throat> and lastly, as it says in the title, leading in the era of AI. This page, this website, is going to equip you to do just that. So whether you're shaping strategy, driving culture, this page is going to equip you with various different guidance on responsible AI, change management and leadership, and transforming your team, your function, your company into an AI first organization. And with that, that's all we have for you. Thank you for carving out time in your busy work weeks to spend time with the Copilot Control System team. We hope you've derived value and gained actionable, practical insights to guide you and your team as you navigate your organization's Copilot adoption and implementation journey. See you next time.